Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. We gotta get that Christmas Carol, dude. We gotta get the Lore Master Sanctum. I still have no clue what it is. Uh, I did take a look in, like, no clip mode uh, around the map just to see about uh, getting some, like, nice screenshots for the thumbnail. I don't know if I got a nice screenshot, but I did get a screenshot. And, uh,. Underneath is one more thing that we have not seen uh, pop up. There, there is, there seems to be one more arena that we have not been to. That one might be what we need to uh, to get to the lore master. It looks like spiders, though. <laughs> it, it, it looked like spider legs or something. So if if we get it, ah. Uh, you know, just, just, it, it, we, we might not do it, is, is kind of the way that that one's kind of crumbling here apart, you know? Because uh, I'm not, I'm not touching the spider stuff, okay? I'm glad we didn't get it in like an hour and 20 minutes of, of playing, but it, it's there, so. Anyway, anyway, it's a new day. The day has passed since the last time I recorded. Yesterday was a strange day for me. I, um slept at can we like activate this right now yes but we need a flowery aroma so whatever else we have to do for the lore master probably going to be able to interact with it even pre uh, may as well grab the roses while we're here no reason to not right i mean maybe there is a reason to not um anyway so yesterday i went to sleep at uh four o'clock in the uh afternoon should be another one over here i think right I went to sleep at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and had a nice nap. Woke up at eh, about 11-ish, maybe. No, I think I went to bed a little bit later than that. Anyway, I ended, I ended up going to bed sometime like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere around there. Uh, and I woke up at 11-ish, uh, 11.30-ish at, uh, at night. Ended up staying up. After I got up, I was I was well rested and pretty, you know, all a okay. I ended up staying up until uh, nine or ten, maybe, a.m. this morning. Got up uh, again at I think I went to bed at like nine or eight, eight or nine ish this morning. Anyway, I went to bed at like eight or nine ish this morning, and then I got up at eleven thirty ish. So it was kind of like a, a weird sort of split sleep that I've I've did yesterday. And, and strangely enough, it kind of evens out, like, if, if you kind of look at it all and, and kind of work through it, all of that sleep kind of evens out to me feeling like I slept a normal eight hours last night. And in a weird way, but it kind of kind of works. And honestly, it was nice. It was really, really nice. Because um, I ended up being awake, getting some Terraria done, um, playing some games, some chess... Played a lot of chess, actually. Um, browsing Reddit, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, you know, 7 o'clock, 7.30 rolls around and everybody's leaving. I went ahead and made myself the food for the day that I ate, which was honestly just a lot of rice. <laughs> and, oh, we didn't get the rose! There's one more rose, dude! What am I doing? Um, oops. <laughs> We didn't mean to get all the roses. Uh, made the food for the day. Watched a bit of uh, a bit of YouTube. I've been watching Chippy's Couch. He does uh, Terraria. It's been it's been rather enjoyable. Um, then yeah, I went to bed and woke up. Now I'm getting my recording done. Played a little bit as well. So it's about uh, seven o'clock now. So I, I I've been playing some games and relaxing a bit and stuff and and honestly what what's kind of happened here is I've I've kind of lined up my schedule for the day to be like opposite of what everybody else in my house is doing which is really really convenient um, because it means I don't have to see them which is is a big plus in my eyes just because I don't know it, it kind of makes me feel it, it, ju it just makes me feel more solitary I guess and I, I like that I'm not. I'm not a fan of people, even my own family. 
I get I get crowded very easily, and I feel I like I'll, I'll oftentimes be sitting in my room, and I'll be like, I just don't want to leave. Like right now, I I don't want to leave my room because I'm gonna have to go and like see people, and they're gonna want to talk to me and say things. And I'm just like, I'm not in the mood for that right now. You know, like it's 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 a lot for me, and. Uh, kind of changing my sleep schedule so that I, I'm sleeping while they're, you know, active at home is... I mean, I'm not sure why I didn't think of it or, or do it before. I'm sure I've thought of it. I've probably talked about it before, too. Um, but kind of changing it up so that I'm active while they're, you know, at work or asleep is, has, has, was, was really, really nice just because it kind of gave me that break. And I'm still... Like, it's only 7 o'clock, people are still up and, and stuff, so if I wanted to go and say hi and talk or whatever, I'd, I'd be able to do that. But, I don't. <laughs> you know, like, not all the time. Uh, so it was, it was just really, really nice. It, it kind of gives me a, a more secluded sort of uh, lifestyle, a more solitary lifestyle, which is, uh, is a big pro for me. For sure. So I, I might end up doing that more often, kind of going to bed around the time that they come home than sleeping uh, till they go to bed, then being up and, and kind of repeating the whole process. The downside of that is that uh, I can't make food until everybody is woken up and left for work. So like... Um, if I were to like get up at 11 o'clock at night or something like that, and I'm really hungry, there ain't really much I can do. <laughs> it's it's uh yeah, it's it's pretty much on my own. I have to just suffer until I, I can make food uh, at eh, around 7 a.m. ish, and then weekends uh, they're still home, so I, I still have to deal with them. But it, those are all problems that can be solved. You know, having to deal with people on the weekends is manageable just because it's you know whatever you can just put up with having to talk to people even when you don't necessarily want to that's not the end of the world it's just a mild inconvenience uh and then for the whole like if i'm hungry in the when i wake up or whatever then i can just i have a, i have a fridge downstairs i have a microwave downstairs um you know I, I can just put put some some stuff in the fridge you know when i make food or whatever just make sure there's a little bit of, of leftovers in the in the fridge, or, or maybe make a, a quiche, or a, oh my god, or, or a frittata or something, you know? Something that I can easily just leave in the fridge and then just warm up whenever I want it. And uh, that, that kind of solves the whole not being able to cook when I want. I mean, it, it doesn't solve the problem not being able to cook, but it does solve the problem not being able to eat, which is a, a more fundamental problem. One of them is, is for pleasure, and one of them is for like, damn, I'm actually hungry. It's not the, like the end of the world to go a day or two without eating anyway, but it's not necessarily desirable either, right? It's not necessarily what you're looking for. Oh, we have to kill this guy with the 9 mil. It's okay. Yeah, that's what you get, dude. Okay, you can't you can't do that anymore. He's he's in right now. You can. You got you got to time it better than I was, <laughs> but. But you can't, you can't just bash him. I saw the way you took down that flesh pound. It didn't stand a chance. I don't know, I don't know how to get the lore master. I might end up having to look it up. I don't want to, but I think I might have to do it. I think I might have to do it. Unless you hate living. Anyways, it's a really good day. It's really the moral of the story here. I'm in a good mood. I'm well rested. It's, uh... That's kind of a problem though, right? Is that I, I did end up doing the split sleep and it kind of ends up evening out. That is kind of a problem. Um, I'm thinking maybe we have to get all these, hit the lever, and then the new boss arena is the lore master, perhaps? I don't know. I do not know. Because uh, we did find out what the roses were. That was the botanical thing. We did get that. So I don't think the roses have to do with anything, but... Or anything with the uh, the lore master, they might. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. I just have to. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna readjust my my whole schedule to kind of line up with that, honestly, just because it was much better all around. Like I got to. Uh, it, it, I just I, I just got to be home 
when nobody else was home and and just relax and sit with the cat for a bit. I've, I've done this stuff before, right? Like I've, I'm always, you know, typically get up around 10 or 11 a.m. anyway, right? Like I, I typically end up doing that anyway. It doesn't, it's not new that I was uh, awake at, uh, at that time. But what changed is, is that, I don't know, I, I was awake at night. I, I, it, it just felt like longer time because I was up right when they left and I had the freedom the entire time and it was really 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 nice Money, anyone? so I'm, I'm gonna try and readjust my sleep schedule to, to kind of fit that sort of uh, lifestyle so I might stay up tonight I'm not sure because um, one one easy way well one way to adjust your sleep schedule when you're trying to is to just only go to bed when uh, when you want to and only wake up when you want to if you don't fall asleep, you don't fall asleep. You'll fall asleep tomorrow. <laughs> you won't have any trouble then. Um, so you know, you just you just kind of force yourself into it. And if you have to skip a few hours of sleep here or there, or whatever, then so be it, right? You end up a couple of days of of, of torture, and, and you're into your new schedule. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it though. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it. Just well, it was really nice. It was very very nice to. Uh, I didn't end up fitting in any Beat Saber today, though. Because um, I didn't have the time. Oh, that was satisfying. I didn't have the time to, to play Beat Saber because I woke up at, uh, like, 11 ish, and. Um, I had to, like, clean up my mess from making food, and I had to clean up, you know, me, and then people are coming home, and it's like, eh. If I, if I play Beat Saber, I'm gonna have to have a shower. So I'm gonna have to like cut it short anyway. So it was just I didn't get the time to play Beat Saber today. But um, if I uh, if I if I work it into my schedule, I should be able to make it work. In fact, I think that this will be even better because I'll be consistently awake for as long as is you know possible <laughs> while people are not here, which will make uh, making time for Beat Saber a lot better. I don't like playing Beat Saber when people are home because um, I think I've talked about it before, but when when people are home, uh, I'm in the way when I play Beat Saber. You know, swinging around, flailing like a freak. You know, I'm in the way. I'm I'm causing problems, causing issues. Uh, it's a problem, right? So, I mean, we'll grab them because why not? But you really don't need them. Uh, so anyway, I uh, I don't like to play Beat Saber while other people are around. Just it just it just I, I feel like I'm in the way, and you just look like an idiot, and I don't really like wearing all that much clothes while I'm playing, because you're working out, if you have like a bunch of clothes on, it's going to get sweaty and gross, so typically, you know, we don't have windows or anything like that in uh, in where I play, or at least not ones where people can see into, um, so I don't, I don't really worry about wearing too much clothes. Pretty, pretty simple stuff that I wouldn't necessarily... It's, it's, it's clothes that I don't think anybody would be upset about wearing, but it just kind of feels weird to, to be wearing it uh, around the house kind of thing while, while people are around. Um, mostly just like underwear, really, but... Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't want to do that while people are home, so it's just like a, a bunch of problems with it so and then you know on top of that like I have the ability to play while nobody's around you know like I, I don't have to worry about fitting it in when 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 I don't when I have time or whatever you know like oh I have an hour here no not like there, there's like a, a solid like nine hours of time five days a week basically uh, where I have the house to myself pretty pretty regularly like consistently right um, we didn't get all of the roses I don't remember where the last rose is that's fine. I'd like to know, just that I know, you know. I think it's over here, right? Is it in this? No. Aha! I knew it was in a corner somewhere. So it was, it was, it was, it was a nice day. It was a nice day. We're doing it again tomorrow. My mother's home in the morning tomorrow, though, so it, it does kind of throw a wrench into the loop there a little bit, but that's, yeah, you know, whatever. It's 
go ahead and pop them. Why not, right? Why not? If we get the botanical arena, we get the botanical arena. Honestly, actually, if we're looking for the lore master arena, it's probably better to not do this so that we get um, the big, the best selection of, of arenas. Because if we had, we do this, we add another arena to the selection, right? That's not really what we want to do, I don't think. I really don't know what we're supposed to do. I feel like it's over here. I don't know what's behind that door. I didn't look at that. I just, uh, while trying to take a screenshot, I did kind of see underneath the map a little bit. I did see the little, like, spider legs holding up, uh, plots and stuff, which was weird. And not desirable. <laughs> but it was there. And it's a thing that we don't have, so... We should get it. I'm hoping it's not too spider-themed, because that's going to be traumatizing. But, uh... I'm the kind of person who uses the spider, uh, texture pack, like the spider remover texture pack in Terraria. <laughs> one of my friends, I was, uh, I was like, oh my god, Terraria has texture packs now, and they were like, yeah, you should use this one, and they linked to me the, like, immediately, as soon as I mentioned the texture packs, they were like, yeah, this one's for you. <laughs> this one's made exactly for you. I'm like, yes it is. Yes it is. I need this in my life. So I, I, uh, I've got that texture pack going. Get rid of all them spiders. Nobody likes spiders, okay? I mean, some people like spiders, but it's arguable. It's debatable. You, you can argue that those aren't actually people. They're monsters. I think, I think you would have a very uh, valid argument there. Maybe it's a loot. Maybe you always get this order of maps. Because we got the same ones last time, too. So maybe you have to play 10 rounds to get it. Maybe next time we'll play 10 round. I guess. I don't know if that's going to do it, though. Because it didn't loop until uh, after the like 12th round or 14th round or something like that. That felt really satisfying, by the way. That was quite the destruction that I just wrecked on these guys. It felt really good just popping the heads as they fell. Just one after the other. Oh, it was good. It was good. I hate these stupid stalkers. They sucked in KF1. They suck now. Nobody likes stalkers. Commandos like stalkers, I guess. Actually, yeah. Commandos, commandos love stalkers. I love playing as commando on uh, in a party. Because you get to kill all the stalkers. And uh, I always feel like such a team player when... when you, you can tell that somebody does not notice a stalker approaching them because they're just ignoring it and like shooting past it and stuff. And then you just come in like, bop, and you're like, yeah, I saved you. I saved you. I saved you. Feels good, man. It always it always feels good to be a team player in games that uh, that have that kind of team dynamic. When when you know that you're actually contributing as a, as a, as a party member. Oh, it just, it's, there, there's, there, there isn't a better feeling in a game like that, you know? When you just when you just know that like what you did helps. You being here, you're you're contributing. You're 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 pulling your weight. You know, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. That's why I like medic. That's why I like uh, gunslinger. You're pulling you're pulling your weight if you're killing everything, right? That's how this works. Nothing can live, and your party members are safe. Who need who needs healers when you just have anti damage dealers? Right? I just, like, you, you look at this matriarch fight, I just saved my party members from, like, a ton of damage by just phasing her immediately. See that? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, well. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Sometimes we're all a little wrong. Or, uh, what's the Ken M one? We're all wrong. We are all wrong on this blessed day. Is that it? I don't remember. Ken M's a good, uh, he's, he's a funny guy. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.